In this Rembrandt lighting inspired photo shoot, I was using just one light and I was using a Fodox Easy Pro Deep Parabolic Softbox as my modifier. This very easy to set up in the, and actually use it. It's have a very consistent result and provide a very nice beam of light. If you're interested, I have a review of this specific softbox and I would recommend for you to check out, see if you find this box is useful for you. As a flash heads, I was using Palsy Buff White Lighting, which provide a very nice and consistent light. So, and this is again, it's a deep box, which allowed me to project a very nice beam of light without fallout on my background, but at the same time provide a very smooth skin tone. Settings on a camera at standard it's 1125. I usually use a very high f-stop or aperture and I try to keep it my ISO to 100. Bring box a little bit closer to the model, which allowed it to, again to light wrap around and creating this smooth uh, lighting on a skin, but at the same time cutting from the fallout light on my background and separating object from this to create kind of more stand up. Uh, as working with the model, usually you have a vision in your head, and for me with um, English, if you notice, it's not necessarily my first language, so usually I tell um, mirror me or follow me doing this stuff. When I photo shoot, I usually tethering on my computer or big screen so I can preview in a larger view, and I highly recommend to do this because many times from looking at a camera, it's not necessarily work very well for you. and add additional twists and kind of details will bring better. For example, if we're using the classic Rembrandt lighting, let's bring some more modern devices in that it add this kind of interesting twist to our shoot. Even it's one light settings, but I brought some little bit light to highlight product or highlight elements so we can see the device better off. And we had a little bit fun with the creating kind of weird photos. And in some cases, I like to do them at the beginning. It's make your model to relax and work a little bit better, establish this connection. So the humor is one of the best way to do it. After this, we'll start playing a little bit more with the position, different props, add heads, scarf, and other elements to bring, which actually one of the easiest to do. And that will help to create different characters with your photo shoot. As a photographer, you have a vision of the image you're going to shoot and to express and many things I found much easier is just going and visually showing to the model what you have in your mind too. But overall, mirror me, I found the better techniques to use it to create this necessary look as you want it and you see it. This was overall a great photo shoot. We had a lot of fun, our models was excellent and we have a lot of nice shots from this. If you're interested, you can always follow up me on Instagram or Facebook and YouTube, of course, and see what kind of work we're doing. I also have tutorials to go over post-processing. 
So what is how is image um, we process after in Photoshop after this photo shoot. And again, thank you very much for watching this video. And if you're interested in them, please subscribe on YouTube and follow up with us to receive notification what is the latest tutorials and videos will be released. Thank you.